Hello, welcome to the 10K ATM YouTube channel. Okay, so this is the how to use the 10K total profit target part 12. So imagine that, that means we have a how to use 10K total profit part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here up to 12. So do check those out so you know where we are now. But what we try to do, what I try to do, is I try to always, if you were to come into this video right here, right now, that you're trying to you know, kind of let you almost figure out, see and understand what's going on. But let's just recap as to what we were looking at. We're going to close this down. we got a series of lines in here. Let's watch this. You can scrunch this up. Scrunch this up, he said. We are scrunch it up. So scrunch it up. So what we've been doing, we've just been looking at um, how the 10K TPT works in the sense of not using our EA, not even using your own EA, but if you knew what you were doing in the way of your trades, i.e. you're looking at the markets, you think, oh, it's moving up, I'm going to buy or it's moving down I'm going to sell so we were looking here watch this if we want to scroll this market along let's get this out of the way if I move the market along like this when it ticks it always goes back to its previous position this position here which is this here See where it says scroll the chart to the end of, sorry, I'll say that again. Scroll the chart to the end on tick incoming. But if I switch this off, if I click on this, it's not going to scroll anymore. So that means I can now drag this along and look at the historical pattern of the chart. Okay, so that's that. So, excuse me. What we were looking at, we were looking at from about here, about lows, previous lows, then the highs, because we were just, just checking out in relation to the TPT here. I'm going to use that word. We were just jumping in and jumping out based on what we could see. Okay, and what we could see, let's move you out of the way, we could see that the markets were at one point moving up. At that point, I don't think I'd drawn this blue line, but we bought in order for me to show you how to use the TPT. And the T TPT is all about, all you've got to do is just key in a value here. These values can all be changed. Right, they're interactive. Change them to what you want. So, at one point we keyed in three to say when the markets move up three points in our favor, that means the total profit target would have been three. And once that was hit, that means the auto trading function would be shut down. That means the whole market, everything here would be shut down. You couldn't trade anymore, not unless you wanted to. And when we say, you know, if you want to, well, once the market shuts down, once your target is hit, either your total profit target or your total stop loss, this shuts down. And in order to start it again, you'd need to press auto trading again to start again. But remember, if you do have a set target for the day, for instance, we used to have 13 but we go for 12.5 now once we hit 12.5 and normally well normally half the time we, we never we're not even looking at the charts anyway we don't look at the screens much anymore at all because we let our EA do the work for us but if you were to decide and know for whatever reason well a good reason such as news where something fantastic was happening in the, in the world or conversely, if something wasn't so good, going so well in the world, the markets were going down. You could leave this at a certain figure, 
And some people I know do not have a stop loss at all. So it means that's open. That's open to a point whereas open whereas that's infinity, but that's open to a point whereas if you knew the market was going up, it could be a hundred points up. If you knew it was, you can leave it at one hundred, for instance. And once one hundred is hit, then everything was shut down. The whole you know, system was shut down. In the sense of auto trading would, would switch off. Okay? That's how that works. Okay, so what I did mention before was we're going to look at, um, let's just click OK on this, and we're going to look at some faster moving markets because now we have um, the US open. Now the US is open, been open an hour and 15 minutes. Um, of course, in the US it starts off at 9 30. I'm in the UK, we're in the UK, it starts off 2 30 here, so they call the first hour the amateur hour where people lose their money because of the amateur hour. But let's look at this. Let's look at the US. I, I did kind of say before we look at the Forex, but let's look at the US and see what's going on there. Right, I'm right clicking on that. I'll go to Chart Window. Click on Chart Window. Let's open up the US. Now, I don't want that anymore, so I click on here, close it down. I want to make this look like this hourly chart, this is hourly chart, I want it to look like um, the one minute chart. So what do I do? I'm going to click on, remember this is highlighted, I'm going to click on one minute. I don't like all these lines, these grids, etc. So watch this. Don't like the grids. It's too much noise, too, it's too messy for me. Um, let's go to the grids, as I mentioned. Show grid? No, I don't want to show the grid. I don't even want to see the open, high, low, close. Not really. No. But I like to see the period separators, which means separating one day from the next. I got it set to bar chart. Go over here to colors. Keep it simple. Just when the markets are going up, it's green. When the markets are going down, bar down, it's red. Click OK. There. Now we have this on a one minute chart. Let's zoom in on it, shall we? Zoom in. There. 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 Don't like it to be too big. I don't like it to be equal to this, my daily chart. I'd like to see more, more what's going on. So we can see the market going down. Now, we don't have anything in here, no EA, we don't even need an EA, but if we said, okay, we want this total profit target to be, let's say 12.5, let's just do it, you know, an example. It may work, it may not work, all right? We're going to use the same old lock-in trigger, okay? Stop loss, let's not put stop loss in there, for some of you don't like that, or prefer not to have a stop loss. Click OK. Because really what we're after is 12 and a half points. Trading time, well, it's well past 7 a.m. Um, we want to lock in, yes, yes, we want to lock in some points. How much we want to lock in? Let's go for the three again, right? This is a scalping, you know, um, trade. So lock in trigger, three, lock in pips. So when it gets to three, it'll lock it in. When it gets to three, it'll lock that in. Use a trading stop, yes, it'll use a trading stop. The trail step trigger will be three. So everything's three. So once it means once the market goes to three in our favor, it will all kick in and it'll start to trail one stop behind. Let's see if we can get that to happen. How do we do that? Well, just simply click here. I know it's looking a bit small over there. And I click on buy. Why? Because I can see it moving up. And the DAX, or the sorry, the Dow tends to move pretty fast. So it's gone in. Let's expand that let's have a good old look shall we make it even bigger for us shall we let's see so a closer look there we are see what's going on so the price we've got in it which will be see that jump up there hmm that's kind of fast wasn't it so count trade history 
auto trading it hasn't kicked in, has it? Let's go back and have a look, see what's going on. So let's put that back over here. Auto trading on ah, that's because the target is put the profit target says one hundred over there. Did we click OK? Ooh, that was all very fast. Auto, oh, okay, let's see what happened. Yes, it worked. Um, it seemed like it was also fast. It didn't even register. Okay, so let's pull this down for you. It's still recording. And this was the Dow here by US 30. Got in at 96 and it gave us six points. So it all happened so fast because the Dow is fast. Okay. So, and it gave us Trist trading pennies basically per point, but that's what we got back from our trades. So the object of this exercise. was to show you, once again, how this works, the 10K TPT on any market. We'll stop there. Review this video, check it out again, look at it over and over again. It doesn't have to be FTSE, well, FTSE, DAX, or that could be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the DAX, it doesn't have to be the Dow, it could be whatever you want. I think what we'll do, we're going to look at one of the Forex markets and see. Okay? So that one works out because of this. Okay, that's how I'm going to show you many, many times over how you can use the um, 10K total profit target.